How's it going guys? Topic for today's video. I'm 27 years old. Am I too young to be getting a vasectomy? So if you follow me on Facebook, you would have noticed probably over the past couple of weeks, I've posted a few little things that I'm in the process of getting a vasectomy, getting the old snippity snip 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 on the old scrotum so I'm no longer viable to have biological children of my own. So a lot of people on Facebook have been giving me a little bit of flack. They're not quite understanding uh, where I'm coming from with my decision to want to do this uh, to my own body. You know, some people are just, uh, they're supporting me in my decision, some people are not. And I mean, with this type of decision, it's kind of funny because so many people are really, really interested in my balls. People who have never seen my balls, people who are never gonna touch my balls, they seem to be so interested in them. And that seems really, really funny to me because it's my own body. And guess what? I can do whatever the f I wanna do with it. And I understand that people want to warn me so that I don't make a regretful decision. And to be honest with you, Getting a vasectomy is something that I'm just jumping right into. I haven't f thought about it at all. I haven't been thinking about it for the last couple of years. I haven't been doing any of that because this is the type of surgery or just the type of procedure that is, is no big deal. Seriously, people. Obviously, I've f actually thought about it. I've put a lot of thought into <laughs> this. And I basically come to the conclusion that basically in the state of the world that we have right now, in terms of the school system, the media, the, the food supply, I really don't want to have any more children in this world. I see the problems with the world and I try not to focus on the problems of the world, but they're fucking blaring in my eyes. They're right there. Try not to focus on them too much. And I personally just think that, you know what, we've got enough people here. There's enough people here. There's enough people, so why do we need more? Why do we need more people? So I'm openly talking about getting a vasectomy, not in terms of trying to get validation from people to basically accept my decision. It's to show that this is an actual viable solution for guys if they want to basically say, you know what, I'm seeing the problems in the world, I'm seeing the environmental effects of having more people in the world, I'm basically gonna tell myself, I don't wanna have children in the world. I don't want to have my own biological children in the world. And that's the decision that I've come to because I see what's going on, I see what's happening, and it's like, holy fuck. It's like, holy shit. First thing people say, it's like, oh my God, you're not going to be able to have children. And it's like, that is untrue. I've already decided that I would much rather adopt a child in this world rather than bring in a new D-man, a new fucking disciple of the D-man. I'd rather just go out, <laughs> pick up the kid off the street or whatever, do the process of adopting a child, a child that needs a loving home, a child that doesn't have a loving home, and I'd rather do that rather than make another one, make a carbon copy of myself. And the second thing that people have been saying to me is that, hey, what if you find the perfect girl? What if we find the perfect girl for you and she wants to have children with you? The perfect girl for me would not want to have biological children with me. She'd be fine with adopting. Simple. It's easy. Problem solved. Just fucking adopt a child. There's so many children in the world that don't have loving homes. So why don't we just create more? Doesn't, that doesn't make sense to me. And obviously other people are gonna see differently and probably gonna get some weird comments, but that's cool, it's all right. It's th people are allowed to have different opinions and different perspectives on the world. I don't think that if you have a biological child, you are a bad person. That's all right if you wanna do that. I would give you some recommendations though. The school system is fucked up. Do not put your children in the school system. It's terrible. It's just, oh my God, homeschool your kids if you're gonna have kids. Second thing, make sure you're not feeding them any processed foods at all. Clean vegan diet, whole plant foods for the win. Do not feed your child any type of processed foods that have GMO products in them. Never give your child a vaccination. That is like one of the worst things that you can do is to vaccinate your child. There's so many studies that have been shown that, you know, lead, um, lead kids to have autism if they get these like vaccinations and stuff like that. No public school, no processed foods, no vaccinations. And I'd also say, don't put them in front of a TV. Put like a 
pen and paper, or pencil and like some paint brushes or something. Get them to do something creative with their time as opposed to putting them in front of the idiot box because it's going to turn them into a moron. So I'm in the midst of the process of actually getting the vasectomy. So I had to get a referral from my doctor. Uh, so basically just entailing me going in and walking into a walk-in clinic and telling him, hey, I just want a fucking vasectomy. And he was like, cool. And just wrote me a slip. I have to go to the, uh, the, the specialist. So I have a consultation with the specialist coming up in a few weeks. So I'll have the consultation with him. Then eventually it'll probably be another week or two after that where I can actually get the procedure done. And then I'll be boom, done. So when it comes closer to that date, when I'm actually getting the actual thing itself, I'll talk more about the actual procedure, what happened. So hopefully maybe it can, I can show it to other guys, hey, this is a viable solution for you if you don't really want to have children. So it's not just about, oh, you know, I can just bang a bunch of girls and blah, 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 blah. It's not necessary. It's not really about that. And you know, I'm not too concerned. Oh yeah, I can just blow my load in a girl. I mean, that's such a minor part of it. It's more about the environmental reasons and just for the fact that I really don't want to have any accidents. Don't want to have that regretful decision of being like, oh, f now I've got a little kid to look after. I really don't want to have that in my life. I really want to be able to choose exactly when I have children exactly when I have children. And I know you guys are gonna say, oh, there's other contraceptive ways and all that kind of stuff, and that's, that's great. If you wanna exercise those options, that's fantastic. I wanna take the easy way out, basically what it is. I just wanna take the easy way out, get the little snippety snip, 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 and then we're all good. I don't have to worry about it. And then, you know, my partner doesn't have to worry about getting pregnant either. She might not wanna get pregnant. And so this just gives me peace of mind, will give her peace of mind, and then we can work on creating our own lives. And if you think that by me snipping myself is selfish, think about it this way. Creating a carbon copy of yourself is one of the most selfish things that you can do in the world. You're creating a little mini version of yourself. What I plan to do with my spare time now, I know I'm never gonna have one of my own children to raise, is that I can spend that time actually helping people in the world. It's a selfless act. I'm not gonna be spending so much of my time looking after a little fucking D-man running around riding his bike all over the place. I, I can just like focus my time on providing tons of value to people. You know, through maybe writing, you know, books, doing videos, helping people one-on-one. -on -one. Like that's where my passion lies and that's what I wanna do more of in life. And I don't wanna sit around raising some little shit disturber who wears stupid hipster glasses and has weird hair. I don't wanna be racing one of those little all right? But anyways, it's a personal decision. It's my decision. Your comments are always definitely welcome, but the decision has been made, so don't even try to talk me out of it, because it doesn't, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Anyways, guys, I hope this video helps. If you have any questions about the process or whatever, definitely leave them in the box below. The guy here in Vancouver is apparently one of the, uh, just a really renowned cock doctor. He's done over, I think, 15,000 procedures. He's seen a lot of cocks. He's seen a lot of penises. So this guy, is, uh, he's got to be good. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Peace out.